All right, uh, you must burn today from Metallica 72 Seasons album. The standard tuning. Okay, so here in the intro, there are two guitars playing two different things. So one guitar plays the top line, uh, and the second guitar plays uh, the second line uh, together, right? So the first guitar. This riff played four times, so then gonna end on this, right? The final bar. The second guitar plays something more complicated. We have this riff. So here in the first beat, we're gonna have open E, and then you're gonna hit two five and two on D with the hammer on between two and five. Uh, but before you hit that those notes, uh, make sure to mute the E string that you played before, right? So uh, you can do it with the palm of your right hand, kind of. Kind of like that, right? So don't play, you know, do not let the E string ring together like this. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then so four times for that riff, as you can see, and then you're gonna end on same thing as the first guitar is ending with, right? And then step two, we're gonna have a preverse. So that's that riff that you're gonna play. Um, uh, four times, uh, well, actually three times, but the fourth time will be this different ending with the final two bars on this line. Um, so basically what we have here is E, this is like a chuck, and then E power chord again, and then again the same thing, and then again, but then you're gonna mute the E power chord, yeah, sorry, like this, right? And then you're gonna have this slide riff, Right. So yeah, f uh, three times on this riff all together, and then one more time. But then you're gonna end on this. All right. So that's the pre-verse. Then for the verse riff on side three. this riff twice, so note that the only difference from this riff compared with the previous riff uh, is in the third bar, fourth beat, there's this little chuck like this, right? Okay, otherwise it's the same riff basically, but you, know, uh, you have this little chuck there with the reverse gallop rhythm on the third beat. Um, and that's pretty much that for the verse. And then you're gonna have the kind of pre-chorus in the second line. Like this. So that's straightforward, I hope. Um, yeah, and then we come to the chorus riff here. The first riff you're gonna play is yeah three times basically. Um, so I'm gonna have open the uh, e, uh, e power chord, going to F sharp power chord. Uh, that you're gonna hit twice, but the first uh, of the, uh, the first chord here is like a short staccato, right? So like this, and then basically the same thing but one octave higher, right? And then in the second bar. Start with this, 7 and 6 on A and D, then 7 and 7, uh, put your ring finger on the 7th fret on D, and then what you're gonna do next, you're gonna hit that chord again, 7 and 7, but then you're gonna quickly hammer on to the 9th fret with your pinky, okay, on the D string, kind of like that. So, uh, and then you're gonna go to 5th fret power chord, and they have 
4th fret power chord twice, the 1st chord staccato. Okay, so all together really slowly. Alright. And then repeat the whole riff, uh, but you're gonna um, have the different ending in the, uh, it's in the final bar. Um, so that comes in at the 4th repeat of this riff. So what you're gonna do there, the first three chords are the same as before. But then instead of going to the fifth fret power chord, you're gonna play seven and seven. Okay, so that's a slight difference. And then you go to fifth fret power chord, going to fourth fret power chord. Okay, so a slight difference there. Right, and as you can see in my comment, after this you repeat slide two, three, and four. And then you go to side 5, which is a break riff. So that's the first riff. You already know it. Uh, and then you play it again, but with a different ending. And then it continues on in the same line. Forward, I hope. Um, yeah, there's a lot of jumping around the E string here, but that's how it is. And uh, then on slide six, all right, so that's the first uh, riff. I guess that's straightforward, I hope. Then the next riff is also kind of straight forward, so you're gonna have Okay, and you play that riff four times. So slight comment. So the first bar you're gonna have open E. Then you kind of slide into the seventh fret, so like kind of like that. And then you play sixth fret with the vibrato, then you have open E, then third fret, and then second fret with the vibrato, yeah, and then you like, you can follow the rest of it. Alright, um, yeah, so that's pretty much this for the uh, like the first part of the break, then on slide 7 we're gonna have this riff. I play this four times, so it's kind of the uh, same rhythm as like in the intro riff, but it's kind of different notes, obviously. Uh, so start with open E, then mute that string, and then you're gonna play this. So four, five, hammer on on G string, and then back to four with the vibrato. Okay, so again, and then one more time. Then you have this, right? So you have this little bend here on the seventh fret uh, in the third beat, in the second bar. You have a little bend uh, on the seventh fret on D. So you have to bend the string downwards a little bit. And then a seven, without the bend, go down to five. And then a sixth on E with the vibrato. Right? And you play that riff four times. Um, and then in what follows is the riff you already know. Yeah, I played it a little faster than it actually is, but yeah, it's two times on that riff. And then a second line. Okay, then slide 8, first line you already know that riff, right? I'm gonna play it again. Then in the second line, again, you know that riff as well, so I don't think I have to play it. Um, but, uh, well, you know the first two bars, right? So, um, but after that riff, you're gonna end with... With this. 
So what we have here uh, is basically Yeah, you start with, and I'm studying on the 3rd bar now, right? So, uh, the little bend on the 7th fret on D Then 7 on D, then 5 on D and Then you go down to 5th fret on E instead of 6th fret, right? With the vibrato and then you have the power chord 6-5-3-1 on the E string and then you have the E power chord on A and D string like this, alright? okay, and then slide 9 we're back with the chorus and the chorus is the same as before um, so I'm not gonna play it again um, and then the second line you already know that riff as well but it kind of ends on this, right? So, take a note of that. <laughs> and then finally on slide 10, uh, yeah, we are back with the riffs we already know, more or less. Um, slightly different uh, ending on the first line, so we're gonna have this. And I have this ending, right? Instead of going to 6th uh, fret on E, I'm gonna go to 7th fret on D, right? At the very last note. And you play that at the second repetition of this whole riff. So, right, like this. Um, right, and then in the second line, yeah, same stuff as before, more or less, uh, but a bit of an extended ending. So, if you remember, last time we played this riff, you played. Right, but then you're gonna insert this in between those uh, long power chords. Uh, sorry, in between the power chords and and the ending, you're gonna insert five, three, one, all power chords. So the whole ending will be. And this final set of power chords, uh, they play together with open E now as well. Right, so that's the little difference there. Other than that, it's, uh, that's it. You must burn. Have fun with that, guys.